Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Melbourne. Woo! Yay! Awesome. There's a lot of you. God, you doubled for, since yesterday. It was packed. It's, it's good now energy. even worse. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you all doing? You enjoying it? Yes? How, how many of you have never done anything like this before? There's the virgins. Okay, the sex birds next door. Did I say that? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> There'll be a few cherries pop today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We like to have a little bit of fun. Um, obviously, I am English, but I live in America, and you are Australian. I am born and raised in Melbourne. Woo! Yes, he is. So he can translate into Australian. If I, can't, if I say something, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you know what's so really funny fine. about that, though? So Lisa and I are good friends, and uh, we were in the States last year together, and we went on a cruise and all this fun, and people thought that I was British. Now when the two of us are here in my home country, you can tell I'm not British, right? And they all think yeah. I'm Australian. Yeah. It's weird. It really is. True story. I think I should be an Australian because I think I should be sort of like sworn in by default. It's my 20th time here. We're still waiting for her to buy a house here, right? Yes. It's going to happen. I will. I've got eight years before I can do anything, before well, I can leave. Well, Melbourne is the most livable city in the world, right? Yes. Ha put hands together, more Melbourne. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See, that's why I love working with you. <laughs> I just speak to dead people. <laughs> yeah. See, I speak to the life and the dead. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't. <laughs> All right. So today, how many of you want a message? Okay, it's oh easy God. for me to say, who doesn't want a message? There's more hands All than right. faces. I know there is. Okay, <laughs> that, don't worry. Well, listen, we, we'll do our best to get to as many people as possible, but it's really hard. Um, now, we will, if we get to you and you get a message, we will put one of these in your hands. Please speak clearly. Scott over there will come and hunt you down. And if you're sitting there going, oh, that's my dad, but I don't want to say anything, we will find you because we're psychic. <laughs> so there's no escape. Us, okay, I'm just letting you know. It's almost a bit of where's Wally. It like, is. Where's Wally? It is. We will find. <laughs> now, sometimes my GPS is a little bit off, and I might go, I'm over here, but I'm really over there. So be aware. For those of you who've never done this before, I sometimes don't know where I'm going. I'll give you as much information as possible. Harry, how do you work? Yeah, so I'm very similar. So um, we are mediums and we're also psychic. So we do get information from the dead. Um, and basically, we will just relay what we get. So um, we'll see things, we'll hear things. A lot of it will not make sense to us. Like, we won't really know what they're talking about because it's not our loved ones, it's your people. Um, and basically, we'll just project what we get across. And if you can relate to it, great. If you can't relate to it, still relate to it. Yeah, but just say yes. It makes us feel really good. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> it's okay. You can tell us no because it's going to fit hand in glove and it should fit it's hand true. in glove. It will Look, fit hand in glove. And why I like work, uh, working with Lisa, we've, we've done radio together in Hollywood before and we were a great tag team. Um, not only were we good friends, Lisa's extremely extremely good at what she does and Thanks. for a lot of you who may remember her television show um, back in the day when she had the short spiky short hair. Spiky, yeah, remember that? Clearly, the hair went with the husband by the way, yeah. it went. <laughs> Clearly we weren't friends in those days. <laughs> what are you trying to say, I'm old? You look beautiful now. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm old. No, I think you are beautiful but her hair's better, Same right? Old. We love her hair, Same yeah? Old. She looks beautiful. <laughs> she looks beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'm a little bit vain. But, um, really? <laughs> yeah. But we work really well together and I think it's because we really are pure in what we do and how we'll work is basically one of us or the other will bring through someone and um, we'll do a little bit of tag teaming as well so this will be a lot of fun We're and we love double link. yeah we love interaction with you guys so please don't be afraid to speak um, because we've all got mouths yes <laughs> and they need to be used awesome. but we are we are going to double link so yes. what means one person's going to start then we'll basically bring both we'll work with the both of the spirits and then the other person's going to start on another spirit so we're good with that Yes. All right. Awesome. awesome. Okay. So, are you good to go? Yeah. Have you got anyone? Totally. I've got a man talking right, to well, me. All right. Well, I'm going to let you start. All right. I've got a I man haven't. talking to me in my left ear, and I'm like, okay, so this would represent a father, father figure to someone. It's quite interesting because he's also quite a tall man. I actually see him dressed in almost like a uniform army look. He's almost got an army look to him. He's a tall man. He feels fatherly. Can anyone relate to a father figure that's got like a, a uniform, tall man, army server? Are you getting him that side? Yeah. I need to you switch want, with you. You want to switch with me? Side. Okay, perfect. Well, that's there interesting because I'm getting it from my left. Isn't that and weird? I get it from my right. Isn't that weird? So that's why we're a good dynamic. So he's, a, he's a gentleman. He wants to connect with a woman in the audience. So this is a, a father figure. Yes. Can you relate to that? Do you Can also I get understand that he's also got glasses and he would wear glasses? No? Okay, don't There's worry. two spirits. Okay. No, she's, there's two spirits. You've got someone with the glasses, is that right? 
And the uniform. And the uniform. And you've you, got... Okay. Let me give you some names. Do you understand the name Ellen or Helen or something like that? Don't worry if you don't. Okay, don't worry. Okay. I'll let Harry carry I on. I think both of them are, are stepping forward. Okay, what's really interesting is you've got a gentleman around you. Can we please pass the microphone to this lovely girl? Okay, thank you, darling. What was your name? Rachel. Rachel. Can you relate to a tall man in a uniform army look? Yes. Father figure? Father-in-law. Father-in-law, perfect. Okay, I, th- I think I'm with you, okay? Um, he shows me a connection. Okay, so father-in-law, that's your husband's dad? Yeah. Okay, and your husband's still alive, correct? Yes. Great, because he's looking at your husband like he's really proud of his son. He's it- in the army. Oh, so he's... Okay, there you go. So he- Do you understand that... Okay, in that case, now I understand why I've got the word post. Because I keep getting the... Is he posted away somewhere right now, or is there a post... We're posting at the You're end of the year. You're posting at the end of the year because I kept hearing the word post. I ha- My boyfriend's in the army, so I get the army terminology, okay? Trust That's me. true. <laughs> I mean, and you love That's him. That's true. I love him. And he's watching now. Anyway, hi, Chris. <laughs> hey. um, anyway, he just keeps telling me that there's a post that's coming up. And he's also saying that you kind of don't want to go, all right? And one of you doesn't want to go. And you either you have a child as well. Is that right? Um, two. Oh, two, that's okay. But the children don't want to go because it's like they're leaving their friends behind. Now, your father-in-law, bless him, sweet guy, he keeps giving me coins like there's a feeling of dropping coins. And he's just saying that you found coins because you've been packing recently and you've been finding the coins. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, good. Carry it's on. really interesting because um, she's right about the coins because he's throwing them. So it's almost like you found coins you didn't even know existed. Yeah. Is that true? Okay. Did he collect them by any chance? Because it's almost um, like he's rattling them in front of you. My dad collects coins. Perfect. Okay. Because he's almost like rattling them in front of you. Now, with the children, is there one boy, one girl? Yes. He's acknowledging the two younger children, boy and girl. What's really interesting is it's almost like you're connected to children ap- separate from your children. Does that make sense? I'm a teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. He's Perfect. also putting a, bike, um, uh, a bicycle around. So he's actually showing me a bicycle. You understand this? I um, organised a three-day bike ride and had to ride on a bike for three okay, days. Okay. Perfect. Oh so God. he keeps going me, showing me the bicycle and he's like giving me a thumbs, thumbs up, up almost like. Now, I still have to go back to these glasses. He used to wear glasses but didn't. Did he used to have a problem with his eyes or is someone wearing glasses now and they, they don't like wear? It's I you. think it's you. It's, it's you. Her. You know what? I just saw that. I looked at your face and I thought you're wearing glasses, but you're I'm not. Like, it's you because I just kept seeing these glasses and I'm thinking somewhat these glasses can't go away. I can't make it fit. It's her. So it's you. And you you keep pulling away from them, don't you? Wear them. You know, they are there for a reason. One eye's worse than the other. You've got one eye worse than the other. Is it the left? Oh, hold on. My, uh, we are opposite side. Is it your right eye that's worse? Perfect. Okay, because what, what he keeps showing me, and he's, he's laughing actually. Now, there's a woman that stands with him. So I feel as though either this is like either a mother in law or your mum, but there's this mother, woman that stands I think with it's him. It's my grandmother. Okay, yeah. there's a woman that stands. Now, you actually have her ring, or there's a connection to it. Actually, it's not ring, it's jewelry. You don't have a piece of ring, it's a jewelry. So you do you have some of her jewelry as well. And she's wearing and it. Wearing you wearing it. it. Okay, perfect. Because she's acknowledging this piece of jewelry like it's really important. Now, she just said to me, Can you tell her how proud I am of her? and that you are amazing. She's also referring to the fact that one of your children has a connection to the name of her or there's some name that's followed on. Do you, is, that, is it to do with you or is it to do with one of your siblings? Um, like my mum has her name. Right, okay. Cause, so the name has followed on and she's acknowledging this. Um, let me just see what she wants to... She wants to get, your mum is still with us, correct? Yeah. Because she wants to give a lot of love to your mum. And your mum has been struggling with some stuff right now. Just tell her that your mom, her mum's been watching over her and kind of lifting her up. But she'll be okay, all right? And you know what's really interesting is this beautiful woman um, who steps forward beside your father-in-law is telling you you're going to be okay with work. So I don't know if there was an issue around your work. I've just been made ongoing. Oh. So I've got a job now. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So now, you, wait, now you've got a job? Um... Yeah, Every but now she's been posted. Oh, so now uh, you've got that decision to make. I'm going for a leadership position. That's, That's better awesome. for you. Okay. That's better for you. She's Perfect. proud. Okay. Right. So they, thank you. For me, yeah. they're just saying lots of love. Lots of love. Right. And they adore they love you. you very much. Wear your glasses. Yeah, and God bless. <laughs> thank God bless. You. Thank you. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> that was great. Lots of fun. Yeah, okay. Do you want me to go now? Yeah. All right, fine. I got a woman. I got a young girl. 
Um, so I've got a young girl. She's actually, um, I hate to do this, but she's kind of showing me that there was drugs around her. And I do feel as though this was a reason why she passed. And what she's showing me, um, it's like she's showing me tattoos. She's showing me drugs. She, and I don't feel as though she was a bad girl. She's very much making me aware she was not a bad girl. But I just feel as though she got involved with the wrong crowd. Um, and that's what I mean. She's drawing me right towards the back for some reason. So I feel as though there's someone at the back. Can someone at the back understand why I've got this young girl? I don't know whether she was about 19, 20, but I just feel like she's got this overdose or there was a drug connection. Can someone understand what I'm talking about? Even prescription drugs. Yeah, it's yeah just, I think it's a prescription Do you well. understand this, darling? All right, can anyone else? Okay. Um, do you understand? And she was blonde hair, is that right? Or lighter hair? She's not dark. Do you understand this? Um, and also, she just keeps showing... Are you mum by any chance? Because she just said, Mom! Mom! Hi! Are yeah. you okay? You all right? Can someone hold your hand? Who's That's with okay. her? Are you together? No? Okay, okay, can you support her? All right, so here's what she's coming... And she keeps showing me the drugs. Do you understand this? All right, now she's showing me that this was not intentional. Do you understand? And I need you to very much know that she's just saying to me that this was not intentional and it's so important that you realize that because there were questions about this and other people were talking about this and she keeps giving me a tattoo and she shows me that someone else now has the tattoo for her do you want does that make sense so thank you she's giving me one of her friends right okay Okay, we haven't got her microphone on, but that's okay. Yeah. But all I just keep being shown is there's a connection to the tattoo is what's being told. Okay. Yeah, can, can I say something um, about her? She feels quite confused, okay? I've got to be honest. She comes through really confused. She looks at you as someone who would be a support network to her loved ones. Does that make sense? Like a support to her loved ones. I can't hear. Sorry? You're her son's stepmom. A son's stepmom. Okay. Okay, so she's... He, okay, so, so he lives her, with you. Okay. So her son is now, is now yours, with, yeah. correct? Okay, perfect. Oh, I wow. understand that. Because what she's saying here is that you have done everything that you can to help out. And she's saying you're keeping her memory alive in so many... In fact, there isn't a day that doesn't go by that you don't mention her to make her, you know, keep her memory alive. You understand this? Yeah. And she just keeps saying, Mom, I'm okay. I'm okay, all right? Because you often talk to her. And again, obviously, we're right by, I've just seen angel readings, but there's a connection to angels with her. So either you often see angel feathers or you see, you either talk to the angels, but there's a connection to the word angel is what she's given me. Okay. That's interesting because I actually agree. I think that the angel connection is she almost wants to come through almost as her son's angel. Yeah. And yeah. that's what she's saying. Do you understand that? Yeah. Because he's really struggling with this. This passing, I have to be honest, it feels like it was unexpected. Yeah, it was. Does totally. that make sense? Yeah, it totally was. Because it feels like it came from nowhere and there's people yeah. that didn't believe it happened. It was almost yeah. like, how did that happen? Yeah, yeah. Who got the phone call? Why am I seeing the phones ringing? Uh, my husband. He got the phone is, call. That was his ex-partner. That's why. Right. Because the phone was ringing. And what's really interesting is she's sorry that it happened that way. She's apologising. She keeps yeah. saying wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. She keeps saying wrong place, yeah. wrong time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I mean, her son, my stepson, he's only six. Oh. So yeah. we don't. That's why we you're going to... want that to happen. She no, thanks you. Friends. She we thanks you. She thanks you for looking after him. And she wants to keep her memory alive. So keep talking to him yeah. as his mum is like his angel. That's yeah. what she's saying. And that will help him because he's six. That's why yeah. he would yeah. see her as an angel. And what, yeah. he's, what she's also just referring to is as much as you are there to help, she's also saying that this wasn't her norm. This wasn't her norm to be in that capacity and to be in that yeah. situation. And she realises this. Listen, honey, I'm going to tell you I've had exactly the same situation as you, so I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. And she's just showing me that she is so grateful and she's so... Now, there's something about him eating food, like he won't eat certain foods. <laughs> yeah. he, and listen, yeah. I have a pee phobia, so yeah. I get it. All right? <laughs> That's true. I do, I do. So bad. They will kill you, you know. Peas will kill you. Anyway. We, we wanted to chase her on the cruise with the oh, peas. Oh, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. Anyway. So when they're frozen, they're dead. They're okay. When they're cooked, they're alive and they kill you. Anyway, so 
I shouldn't say it to these kids. They'll never eat their peas again. <laughs> anyway, what, he, what I'm being shown is that he doesn't, he's very fussy with his food. Yeah. And he's always been that fussy. But I do feel as though that since her passing, he's been even more fussier. All right. But there's something about the eating that she's got. It. He want, they want him, she wants him to start eating more and wants him to get the eating properly. Yeah. And listen, she's not telling you how to mother him. I know. But I what she's saying is you understand the, the connection to the food and that he needs to get yeah. the nutrients in. I, I just want to add to that. Um, I don't know if he needs to sleep with the light on or if there's something about he's kind of getting a bit freaked out about the dark. Yep. Okay. Has that happened recently? Um, no. We have his fish tank on every night. With so the light? light? Yeah. He but needs... I turn it off when we go to bed, but okay. there's a toilet light on too. He needs the light on. She's yeah. showing me he needs the light on because if he doesn't have the light, he gets scared. Yeah. And what's really interesting about that is she just said, please tell him that I'm going to be his light. Oh. And she gives, keeps giving crystals she wants to as well. She you a hug. I want to yeah. give her a hug. She's so lovely. She's a really nice she's lady. She's beautiful. She looked at you like a friend. Yeah, we were friends. She looked yeah. at we, you like a friend. We got along so well. We, we, shared, we shared her son. He she, was both our child. She's Aww. happy that her ex-husband or whoever, yeah. like you're married to, yeah. or I mean her ex-husband, <laughs> and she's happy. <laughs> whoops. Is he here, by the way? No. no. <laughs> she's happy that he chose you because she trusts you you with her son yeah. and I feel is that her only child yes yeah because she says that her boy was her life yeah I know okay her life yeah. she did everything for her boy and she's saying that now she trusts that he's in good hands and she says God bless so oh. lots of love thank, thank so you, you so love. much give her a round God of bless. applause thank you. thank you for supporting her thank you wow it was amazing yeah sure okay let's see where we're going I do you have someone well I've got a dog I've got oh my god I was gonna say I've got a Puppy. I got a dog. Who's lost a little puppy? No, it's not. A, oh, wow. I've okay. got a puppy. Well, I got another Who's lost one. A pu They're standing. Someone standing got a little dog. It's almost like it looks like a little puppy or like a little, little, what a little dog. Mine like is little, a German Shepherd. Mine's little. But that's okay. Uh, I had Scott, a German you're pulling through the dogs. <laughs> Okay, no. So let me let me start because I have a I have a as I look at the German Shepherd. I also have a father that's also in spirit. So either your father had quite a big dog. I don't like big dogs, and German Shepherds are kind of my sort of like place to go to for big dogs. Um, but what I just keep being shown here is that there's a dog with a father, and it's more the fact now as I connect with the dog, it's the father that's actually coming forward, and I am drawn to the standing people, the people at the back yes. for some reason. Someone standing. Either either you nurtured this dog from a very puppy, but I just keep being shown that you've also, thank you, there's a heart attack or someone with a heart attack, like a father or a father figure. Do you understand? All right, we've got two coming up. <clears throat> Do you understand the, goal, the, uh, the um, German Shepherd? Do you understand the... It was a boxer. They're both big dogs. I and don't that one's do got a dogs. Doberman. Has your dad died? Your father's crossed. Did he? Did it? Was it a little puppy to begin with, and then it grew ten weeks? That's I've just her. been told that's you. I'm sorry. It is you. It's you. Because you know what's weird? You. Isn't that weird? Because I said it was someone standing. And I said someone standing. Right. And then I didn't even look at anyone here. I'm really sorry. But I just kept looking at you because I saw the puppy and you saw it grown, and then the dad came through, and it was highlighted around you. So it would have been a really little dog that grew into yeah. a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was quite yes. interesting because. I don't as much as it was, um, as much as it was this puppy, I'm being shown it was quite a large dog. Big dog. It was a big, big dog. All right, I don't do big dogs. Did it have pointed like ears, yeah. like that? Yeah. He's got the dog. And also, and the dog has crossed, correct? No. No, the dog no, is still with no. us. Okay. Well, he just keeps bringing forward the dog for Sorry. some reason, and it's the dad that's coming strong, very, very strong, and he keeps. He's got this very smart appearance. So line. he's very, very smart, spit and polished shoes, and he just keeps telling me there's something about he's with mum. He's with mum. You understand this? And he's showing me that mum is in spirit, correct? Yes. And he's with mum. And there's also a birthday that's actually either just happened or coming up that he wants to acknowledge. Now, listen, your mum, yes. you understand this? Yes. Now, your dad wasn't the one for getting birthdays. He wasn't the one for remembering birthdays. So you must be surprised that he's come and acknowledged it. Yes. But the other thing is, his mum's kind of nudging him as if to say, I never forgot a birthday. <laughs> I never forgot a birthday. You understand? Yes. And he's just acknowledged the sister. So do you happen to have the sister as well? The sister's birthday is on the 28th of November. Perfect. Okay, because it was the sister's birthday. So he wants to acknowledge...
acknowledge the sister's birthday as yes, she's well. She's 50. A big birthday. A big birthday. <laughs> all right. 50 is the new 40. It's okay. <laughs> That's only because I'm heading that way. Um, you're all right, dear love. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> you know what's funny? Your mum's lovely. Your mum's lovely. I never we- met her. She died when I was five. I was just about oh, to say, it feels like you didn't know how lovely she was. No. I didn't know if you didn't get along with her, and that's why you were like, is she not lovely or is she lovely? So you didn't know her. I'm only as a little, very She's little. So right. mm. She's yeah. so lovely. She's so lovely. And can I be honest with you? She comes through young. So her she passing, died at 34. 30, I was going to say, you know what's so weird? When we brought up the age thing just then, that was the lead into her mum being in her 30s. Because I'm approaching 30. Okay. Oh, I, you I know poor I really, thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, oh, my God. Really? I'm so old. No. No, no. <laughs> but when Lisa said that, see, by the way, something for all of you to know. If you don't receive an actual message, there's sometimes you'll hear something in another person's message that you'll resonate with. And other times, sometimes we'll say things to almost create the link. So that joke about the age actually was about your mum's age. Mm. That's how I was able to know she was young and she was in her 30s because yeah. I'm approaching 30. Um, <laughs> and she's lovely. She's quite beautiful. It's quite funny. I've got to be really honest. Your dad Dad's all over her. <laughs> Again, we bring up the sex He's bone. all over her. I don't know if he's making up for lost time with her, maybe, but it's all right. Maybe. Right? There's kids here. That's right. They don't know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> I bet they do. Because he's loving on her. Mm. And he's saying she's beautiful. And you would have photos of her when she was younger. And you would yes. look at that and think she was actually stunning looking. Yeah. Her, wasn't she? Beautiful face. And let me tell you, they both look good together. <laughs> he's, he's a little bit vain, I've got to be honest, because you know what? He's quite conscious of his appearance. A perfectionist. Oh, total perfectionist. Because he just said to your mum, you're not the only good looking one. <laughs> <laughs> now he's he just, joked a lot. He oh, did. bless him. He's amazing. He's just oh, told me that them. you're his little girl. He's just said I that was. you are yeah. his little girl. I was. And he's also just referred to the fact that you were there for him right at the very end. And he I wants was. to say thank you so much for holding his hand. And you also thank you. He's also just said that you were there for him and you told him it was okay to go. You mm. told him it was okay to go. And he said, you always said that I was going to be okay. And he's actually saying thank you. Yeah. And you also, again, we go back on to the... Co- do, uh, uh, collecting of coins but do you understand the fact that he may have collected coins or you have coins from your father I think my brother has a coin collection right okay because there's coins that he just keeps acknowledging as well mm. now I've just going to ask are you thinking about moving house darling because there's something we are okay perfect because again he wants to acknowledge the fact that you're moving house you're packing the boxes you're either downsizing but you're having to get rid you're clearing out we are. and he's telling me it's okay to let go of some of his stuff because you may have some of his stuff, um, but he's actually saying, no, I don't need it because I'm not going to wear it again. It's all right, but obviously. That's hilarious. God bless yeah, you. He's a great guy. He's lovely. But he just wants you to know that he's with your mom. He's also looking. Now, there's something about the dog. Either the dog's not been yeah. well, but there's something about the dog that he's looking after the dog, and he wants to connect with the fact that he's taking care of the dog. Aww. So if you can, if you know that, did the, did your dad love the dog? Oh yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. There's something about that, and also the, the, he's showing me the, the food that you're giving him. It's about the food that you're giving him. Either I don't listen. I, I don't. I'm, I have three dogs, and that's the kids feed them. I don't get involved. But it's almost. I'm just keep being shown the bowl of food. So if he does start having issues, just look at the bowl of food. That's the only way I can say say it. It's amazing. Um, uh, uh, please give her a round of applause. Yeah, I've got thank someone you else so forward. much. Thank you so much. Of love and God She's bless. She's beautiful. God thank bless. You. Okay. I've got a mother figure coming in this centre. The lady in the blue. Have you lost your mum? Thank you. Do you understand the name Mary? Is that that's your mum's name? name? Perfect. Oh God, perfect. Okay, we've got her. She no, was no, no, strong. That, that's my older sister's name. That's older your sister's older sister's, sister's yeah. name. And let me just ask, did mum insist on using the name Mary because either it's been followed on in the family? Uh, yes, she did insist on Mary. Perfect. Yes. Okay, great. It was I've traditional. Got it. Yeah, okay. Got it. Because she was stepping forward. It was almost like, to be honest with you, she was jumping in. Because I have to be honest, she was really impatient. Yes. Were you sitting there thinking, Mum, are you around? Mum, are you around? Yes, yes she, I was. You think really loudly. <laughs> because she, <laughs> cause let me tell you, <laughs> we head tap now. She, she said... I'm here, I'm with you, my darling. I'm with you, my darling. That's how she's referring to you as my yes. darling. Did yeah. she ever used to call you that? Yeah, she did. My yeah. darling, that's how she calls you. What's really interesting is the lady, uh, you know, to the, that side of you who brought through her parents, your mum, I have to be honest, she was kicking him out. 
She was saying, move it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is she, move it. she's also just, she's actually very strong. And I've got to she, tell you, she wants me to take my shoes off. Almost like she didn't like wearing high heels. Her feet used to swell or something. Because yeah, she keeps she, showing me. I just want. Her ankles. Yeah, around her, her ankles. ankles. All right. Um, that's right, yes. Okay, yes. And, and, and listen, I'm not going to. I'm quite comfortable in my heels. but she, I won't let her take her shoes no, off. No, they, they don't <laughs> smell. You're all right. Anyway, but she just keeps showing me that, that, um, that she wants to kind of keep her, take her shoes off. That, that's and you used to rub her feet or you used to rub sort of her legs and make sure that her circulation kept yes. going. And she keeps saying you were also insisted on her drinking and getting fluids into her. Yes. And it was like she did not want to do it. It was like, get away. <laughs> stop it. She hated it. She just said, why'd you put that in my mouth? <laughs> you know what she just gave me? What, you know those swabs, those lollipop swabs? Because yes. she kept giving me one yeah. of those lollipop swabs that you would either do that just to get her to have the yes. fluid because she's, she's doing that, bless her. She, she didn't, didn't like the taste. No, and also, did she have false teeth as yes, well? Because she she's like... Yeah. <laughs> That's why she's saying, get them out of my mouth. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Did she ever lose them? Did she ever misplace them? Because um, she just said she, if they were ever out of her mouth, she would look, she'd go crazy. She's like, oh, my God, where's my teeth? Oh, she didn't like having the gums. Hated so, the gums. Yes. So it used to sleep with them in because... Oh, my that. God. Yes. She, she, she slept with them on. Now, people that have false teeth or they know people with false teeth, you don't sleep with them, right? She's telling me she hated them not there. She That's slept right. with them. Yes. Do you know what she just said to me? She said, what if something happened to me at night? <laughs> she said, what That's if what something she, happened to me at night? That's what she was like. She just said to me, if someone came to the bed yes. and they looked at my mouth... I don't want them to see that. Yes, that's oh, that's exactly funny, right. bless her. That's what she just said. You know said. what she's just shown me? All right, and as you said that, she said, you've always got to wear your good underwear. Yes, don't leave yes. anything, all right? Don't wait for the red bus to come and get you. It's like, always wear your fancy underwear. What's even funnier about oh that my God. is I'm very particular about that stuff too. Don't we know it? Don't, so Lisa and I slept in the same bed for two weeks. She knows me very well. Very um, well. <laughs> very well. Um, your mum's happy that I have nice underwear. <laughs> She obviously hasn't looked at mine. Mine's pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. She thinks I'm cute. How funny is that? Oh, my that? God. Oh, my your God. Your mum would say that, though. Yes, that, w- that, you, yeah, that is mum. That's yeah. your mum. Your she mum's... Just, yeah, she thinks I'm adorable. She, uh, how, who wouldn't love this little <laughs> face? I mean, really. Anyway, so what she's just shown me is she's, she's with your dad, all right? And she keeps yes. acknowledging that she's with your dad. Yes. Now, your dad's crossed over, correct? Yes. All right. And what he's doing, he's coming forward like a very strong man. Yes. And I do feel quite the strong, silent type, if I can say yes. so. Yeah. But it's like she he allows her to be like the fun person exactly. that she is. But he was her strength. Yes. He was yeah. absolutely her strength. And he was the rock of the whole family, if I can yes. say that. Yeah. Now, he's also signing contracts and paperwork. So whether he was someone who always liked everything meticulous and signed, sealed and delivered because he's making... Now, there must be a situation where you're signing contracts re- soon. So are you looking at signing something? Uh, yes, there is something that okay. I've been he wants you. About. He wants mm. you to make sure you read the small print. He's uh, a little bit of a funny one. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but he wants you to read the small print because he's very, very cautious about this. Okay. He's also bringing in the month of September, which yes. is a, a, a significant either a birthday or an That's anniversary. His, his birthday. Perfect. And I'm also been, just been shown the month of March as well. So there must be a significance about March. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Yep. You say that questioningly, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure. Yeah, we we are doing something in March. That's okay, significant. he's that acknowledging the March month. Does yeah. that have something to do with anything that you're signing? Like you know how you have paperwork to sign. You've got to be really careful about that. You know how Lisa was saying about yes, the fine yeah. print. Yeah. It felt legal. So okay. it, does that make sense? So you yes. just could, okay. You've got to be very cautious, and it feels like there's money involved with that. So just okay. be cautious of that. But I feel like you'll be fine. I gotta love and leave you because I've yeah. got someone on a motorcycle that's so, coming through. But thank so you, God lots of love you. for mum and, and dad. You, okay, thank you for letting us connect with you. Thank, thank you. you. Do you mind if I could do this one? I've got a, yeah, I've go, got go. Um, a young lad who died on a motorcycle. Listen, I ride motorbikes, so for me, I'm a happy little camper when I see motorcycles or motorbikes, as you call them. Over I've here. never been on one. Oh, you haven't <laughs> been on with me. You'll be all right. You'll be safe. Wheels. Oh gosh. 
Anyway, you'd have to ruin your hair putting a, a no, shave your my head, head off. Oh God, I need oh my a shave, God. Actually. Anyway, um, let me. I've got this guy that's showing me that either he loved motorbikes. He's actually giving me the fact that either he, I think he died on one, or there was a connection to dying on a motorcycle. I'm really drawn in this direction. I could be completely off. Um, he's also making me aware that there was a group of friends and that you are all friends together. And he's also showing me a big Facebook memorial page or that you've all been on Facebook. And he's also bringing me into the fact that there was a massive party in celebration for him. Can someone understand what I'm actually talking about, please? Sorry? Not the Facebook. Do you understand the person that died on the motorcycle? My GPS was going, Wah! so I had to go. And was there someone else? Okay. Do you also want, you understand the motorcycle? Was he young? <clears throat> and I he's fairly young. Okay. Let me give you more information. He's, mm. Do you understand the name Terry or Kerry or Eri? Who's? A friend Can we get passed the who passed, and his name was Terry. Okay. And he just, but it was a group of friends and he and Terry was also someone else who passed. Uh, not long after him. Okay, let me see. Yes. And do you understand the name Paul as well? Paul, Pauline, Paula. Can you relate? Can you relate? You're pointing at me. Can you relate? I got. I feel like I I'm think, over here. Yeah, I, I really feel like I'm over here. Scott, I'm over here, honey. Um, lady in blue. Oh, I, I can't eat. I'm past you, deaf. Let's get a microphone to you because I'm like... Deaf as a doorpost. Do you know what's so weird about that? I'm kind of deaf and not able to see in one, like, one of my eyes, but we're very good at hearing spirit and seeing. Isn't yeah, it weird? Yeah, that's exactly. It's like impaired, yeah. The guy okay. on the motorbike, his mum was called Paula. Awesome. That's, that's Boom, okay. And Terry was also the friend of him. Yes. Okay, and both of them passed. Yes. And one of them passed not on the motorcycle, the other one passed connected to the motorcycle. Is that right? Or he loved riding the motorbikes. I'm not, I know he liked cars, but I'm not sure about motorbikes. Right. Terry loved cars. Terry loved cars. What's the connection to a motorbike then? Daryl, who died on a motorbike. Perfect. He, okay, that's what I'm car. saying. Yeah. I just kept seeing the other one died on a motorcycle or motorbike. Because all he kept talking about is that he was riding too fast. There was a feeling, okay. but there was also a car involved. Yes. Because it was a six of one, half a dozen of the other situation. But the, he was trying to get away from the car, but the car came at him. Yes. You understand yes. this? And he's making making me aware that it all happened so quickly and he's in this place it all happened really suddenly Very suddenly quick. suddenly yes now the the other guy terry did he was he responsible for his own passing no i wouldn't okay no. i just feel as though wrong time wrong place where he put himself in there for some reason well he had bowel cancer but he never got checked so yeah I just felt as though he 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 was a little he felt a little he feels a little bit responsible, okay? Oh, okay yep. And that's the only way I could actually put it. Like he he did he didn't do things to help himself out. Have you got the two? Sorry. Or do you want me to carry on? Uh, no, you can keep going. Okay, I, I'm that's just fine. hearing things. All right, that's saying. fine. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's away with the fairies wherever he's going. <laughs> anyway, bless you. Um, he, what, he, let me talk about um, Daryl, which is your friend, correct? Yes. And, yes. and also, you knew Terry as well, correct? Yes. Because the two of them are coming through together. And he's showing me that either you will be able to get a message through to friends and his family to let him know that he's okay. Okay. And yep. there was an anniversary that just happened recently, and the anniversary of one of their passings. Does that make any sense? Uh, was it back in October? August, yeah. Okay, yeah, October. okay. I can't make that fit. I met with Terry's wife in October. Perfect, because I just keep being shown there's a connection to an anniversary or some significance in October. I'm hearing thank That's you. It's my birthday, that. right. October, too. There you go, okay. And he's just showing me here that he just wants to give a great deal of love here. Now, there's also the tattoo for someone, but someone's had the tattoo on their leg. My husband. <laughs> Perfect, okay, because it's on their leg, it's not on the arm. And he's saying thank you you for that as well now he's also referring and it's funny because we talk about this lady's mother and the making sure that you've always got good underwear on because you never know when you're going to go i don't feel as though one of them had good undies on at the time <laughs> can answer that. that's not something you'll know maybe they maybe they didn't wear one maybe they're a bit commander who knows but it's quite free <laughs> all i'm being shown is that there was a joke about the underwear and what he was wearing at the time for one of them yeah, I think he had um, 
the little machines on that do your muscles so that could I, be it. Okay. Yeah. I think All so right. too. I think so too. No, that was a good mm. connection because um, he was, can I be honest? I think he was flirting with you. <laughs> I mean, who You know why? On, I mean, you really. know why? Because <laughs> I was hearing before, I said, uh, it's like, I could hear something like, oh, she's a looker and he likes that you like motorbikes. Oh, absolutely. They do that. <laughs> they do. He flirted with her. Would he be that type to flirt with like, a little bit. He yeah. was a flirt. He was flirting with her. He thought she looked good. That's why I almost like let her do it because I was That's like, okay, fine. you're not into me. He's a, he's a sweet. He's I'll a sweetheart. Have your mom. She likes me. But he's a sweetheart. He's, he's lovely. He's absolutely lovely. adorable. But yeah, that was beautiful. And he just wants you to know that he's okay. He's saying thank you. Can you give his kids a kiss? All right. So there's something where one of them's got children. They're coming in very, very together. And he's just saying, can you let everybody know that we're okay? It's almost like maybe you all have Facebook together. And I feel as though we might might want to be mentioned because again it'll bring back to the Facebook or social media. Okay. All right. I'm not sure what that would mean. I think they all to did a martial to arts together. They all did martial arts. Okay. So there's some form of connection yes. where you'll be able to mention it on on a page or something. But can I leave that with you because there's a lot of love. Look for the rainbows. Look for the angel feathers because those are the two connections that they're showing me. There's also a connection to the wolf. I don't know why I'm being shown wolf, but maybe Scott can help you with that. Yeah. But um, I just keep being shown the wolf. And, and it's almost like just let everybody know we're, we're safe and we're having fun. Okay, thank All you. Right. So thank, thank you, you so bless. much. I'll leave that with now, you. Now, I've got someone quite young coming through. They're coming through quite young. And the Facebook thing you kept talking about, it's linked with this oh, person. Oh, well, okay. Let's go um, with it. Yeah, it's linked with this person. Who's lost someone quite young and there's a tribute or there's a memorial on social media about him? It's a guy. Social media. I can't see... Can you, someone's pointing that I can't see apparently. Who, who? Put your hand up, wave, wave. There, there we I go. I feel right like at it's the at the back. There we go, right at the back Is that there. you with the white? There's a couple, white yeah, is and that there's you, also darling? A, I think it's you with your hand up. There's also a lady up the back as well. Is there? I, I had a feeling yeah. it was at the back. Was he quite young? Very young? Do you understand he was connection? young? Okay. Like was he like in his like early 20s? Like tw I can't hear him. Right. No, there's uh, two, oh. there's two. All right, you, can I just start with you? Yeah. Was he a young man, like around 20s? Yeah. Okay. Is there a tribute, is there a tribute about his passing? Yeah. I think, it's, I think I'm with her. I was getting half of the stuff from there. I've got to go I'm here with this lady afterwards. Okay, okay I'm going to stay with you because yeah. I feel like I'm really directed because there was something about he was on the stage with us before coming to you. Does that make I sense? I saw him up there. There you go. She sees dead people You see too. dead people too. Oh, no, I don't. But she does it do. normally. It flashed to her. Is that he right? Said I'm on the stage. Oh, my God. Yeah. You need my new book. You know yeah. what? Okay, on that note, yeah, Lisa wrote a great book on how to do this. And um, I endorse the back. <laughs> so um, it's, it's a really good book. It's quite pretty. And Scott from Animal Dreaming Publishing Who published over there? it. It's a phenomenal book about mediumship and our abilities. And Lisa's a great teacher. Lisa's am a great I? teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, great yeah teacher. I am. I'm Sorry, just looking at second, our time, you, really. That say? was all. That okay? Yeah, no, no, time? go for it because okay. I want to come to so that I'm lady. I'm going to go back to you. So he said that he was up on the stage with us mm. during Lisa's interaction with the lady in the blue. That's right. Okay, thank you. He's showing me like early 20s, very early 20s. Did he miss 21? Is there something about, did he nearly, it's something about it's the 21? Because you know you kept saying October. His birthday was October 30. It was just the other week. And it was... He's bur remembering the last one you said someone's birthday yeah, was October. That was him. I that think he kept interrupting. You know how I know that to be true? Leading. Because they work off the heat. So what happens is, see how all of you are here together, like lined up almost. Spirits come through like that. Mm -hmm. So when we're on the stage, it's almost like a portal that they enter in. And he was really persistent. You almost look like you're glowing to me. So he's mm -hmm. really around you. Mm -hmm. He keeps acknowledging, thank you for remembering me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, rem for remembering me. I, I get like a really traditional name, like a Joe or like a John? It was Matthew. Matthew? Okay, who's Joe John? Oh, Johnny. Johnny, who's Johnny? Johnny's, um, so Johnny and I were good friends with Maddie and Maddie passed. Okay, thank you. He wants to say hi to Johnny because okay, Johnny feels alive. Johnny's yeah, alive. Johnny's alive. Perfect because it's like, it was almost like a very particular, like Joe, John, Johnny. Okay, it's almost like he wants to say hi to John, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, he would. Johnny's lovely. Yeah. Johnny's really cool guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because this friend who died, he keeps saying, I'm really sorry I'm here. It's almost like he's apologising for being where he is. I have to be honest, I almost feel like there's some self-inflicted things to do with this. 
was he almost like, did he suffer from depression or was it almost like some he went he was a bit warped something about him really upset i hope not um he was in london and the train lines are what um live there and he got hit by a train he didn't know he died oh, he came out of his sorry. body you know what happened the head impact of the head yeah, it was, it was the impact of the head and what's really interesting is when he got hit he was so confused it almost feels like this spirit didn't know he died. Mm. Has anyone ever watched the movie Ghost? And you know on Ghost, there's a train actually, which is interesting that he died with the train because that's in my head. There's a spirit on the train that died and didn't know he died. Did you, did you remember that movie? Patrick Swayze, Whoopi Goldberg, Love. He's almost replaying that scene to me. And it's almost like he died with the train. He didn't know he was going to die. And he's mm. apologising about it. He's saying, the people I love, I didn't get to say goodbye to them. No, because he was in England and he was... Was he alone? Friend. Yeah. Because he just said, I was on my own. He was on his own. He said, I was on my own. Yeah, he was on his own. He's really upset. I feel upset. <laughs> he's really upset. He didn't want to be there on his own. No. But he's okay now, yeah. all right? So as much as he was on his own at that point, what he's shown me is actually in a good place. And he's happy right? now. He's okay. He's happy now. Because he was a happy guy alive. It was yeah. just that it, the last moments was quite tragic, I've got to be honest. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, he adores you and he really loves Johnny. Yeah. Please send his love to Johnny. I will. And yeah. he's, he's with you and God oh, bless. Thank you. And You're I want to so come to that other lady back there. All oh, right, yes, my darling. I'm, I'm coming to you. Scott, grab a microphone to this lady in the... Beautiful colour, whatever it is, because I can't pronounce it. All right. Hi. Hi. Okay. Do you understand the fact that we're, was this a friend of yours or a very close friend? Because I keep feeling as though this is because he, he stands right by the side of you. Yeah. We mentioned him and he stood right by the side of you, and I feel like he's a friend to you. Yes. You understand? I also feel as though a great deal of love for you, yeah. and I feel as though you were very close. Yeah. And I'm also being shown that there was either three very close of you, there's, you were in a group of three, yeah. or there's three left. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. He he also keeps giving me the month of September as well, being very significant. But what he's all, and he's also said September and October being very two two different um, I don't know, celebrations, whatever they may be. But as he steps in with you, he's saying that he never got chance to say goodbye. He never got chance to say goodbye. Does that make sense? Yeah. And as he, I think it's. We lost two this year. Okay. Um, my good friend and her boyfriend. Ah, uh, it's your boyfriend. Okay, yeah. it's you. I'm sorry, darling, because I, I almost said I feel like I'm in love with you. <laughs> All right, and I fall in love with a stranger every day. I mean, I do. It's, it's a great feeling. I love it. All right, do you mind just sort of stepping out because you're hiding there, darling? No one else is going to see you. The camera's on us, not you. You're all right. Okay, and this would be your boyfriend, correct? Now, do you understand the fact that he gave you a ring? So either you're wearing a ring or were you engaged or there's a uh, connect? No, I gave him a necklace that he okay. got cremated with. What was that? I gave him a necklace he got cremated No, there is a ring. You've got it on your finger. There you go. Yeah. There's the ring. All right, because he just kept acknowledging the ring. Now, did the two of them know each other? Because uh, I feel as though either they, they knew each other or they're in spirit together. Um, well, my friend passed away in January and he was July and we kind of um, explained to him that he'll be up there waiting for Right, okay, because he's saying to me that they're actually coming in together. Darling, I need to talk to you about your boyfriend here. Now, he passed very suddenly, you understand this? And he's actually apologising. He's actually apologising. You had a dream about him and he keeps acknowledging that the dream was real. He's also showing me that you wrote a letter to him or have you been writing or you've done something and he's saying thank you. You also put something or someone put something into the coffin or, or the casket, and he's saying that thank you, all right? So he keeps showing me that there was inf stuff in, put in there. He's also referring to the fact he loves the smell of your hair. I'm not sure if he ever would acknowledge the smell of your hair, but there's something about the smell of your hair here that he keeps showing me. He's also referring to a bun, a, a, like um, a teddy bear, and I'm not sure if you have a teddy bear of his, but I feel as though, do you sleep in bed with him, like either a t-shirt of his, but you, you wear it in bed? You do, okay. Because in that case, they're both coming in together. So I've got the fact that you wear him in bed. And, um, and all they just keep saying is that we're okay. We're okay and we're together, all right? And it's about being together. Listen, let me just tell you about your boyfriend. He just adores you. Your friend adores you. All I keep feeling is like this absolute love, love, love for you. And it, almost as though the two of you were saying, come on, let's go. We might get a message. We might get a message. But it was that was that churning feeling that you were going, oh, I'm going to get a message. Message. And you know, 
because you some of you were like oh I want that feeling anyway but I'm just keep being shown that you've got this feeling that he was coming through and as quick and as brief as it is I just need you to know that they love you they adore you one of them saying happy birthday I'm also being shown Sunday so whether there's a birthday celebration coming up on Sunday um, but they want you to know that they're all doing okay all right so please thank you so much and God bless and I'm glad that they come in Beautiful. That was lovely. Are you all okay? Are you all enjoying this? Just gonna. Just you having gonna fun? Do. Yeah. Give us a round of applause. Woo! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I, of the two of us, see now we both Gemini's and we are good friends, but I love attention. <laughs> really? Okay. But I'm very honest, right? He's so right? honest. You know, let me tell you about Harry. I love Harry, but he'll say, "Okay, let's uh, stop, stop talking. Let's talk about me again." Yeah. And he will. No, I, I've, 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 we've been there, right? We we've have. sat there, and he's like, "Okay, that's great. That was great. I'm really happy for you." But let's talk about me. My turn. My turn. Oh, he's so like that. I'm the most loyal, genuine person to have, though. So even though I love talking about myself, I really care about people. Oh my god, that's true. Now, on that you. note, um, I've got a little child coming through. So someone that's lost a baby. Feels like a real small... Oh, I had a feeling it was going to be you because I, I saw flinging. Can flinging? you put your arm... Yeah, see her arm how it flings oh. with the thing? Her oh, top? okay. I saw the flinging. Have you lost a child? Yeah, did you have a child after the one that you lost? Can you come to the microphone, please? Please? And um, was this a little girl? It was a boy, okay. But did you... Have it's you her. had a girl? Okay, because I just keep being shown there's a, still a girl. I've got your little boy coming through, my darling. This is a big thing for her. You've always wondered. Thank you so much. What was your name? My name is Christine. Christine? Christine. Christina. Okay, thank you. You've always wondered if your little boy was okay. Because what's really interesting is you've got the child coming through. It was a boy, right, that died? Okay, thank you. Because he's acknowledging how his soul wasn't meant to be here. Do you understand that? Did he have complications with... Uh, it's almost like I feel like heart and brain. I almost feel like there was two things connected. I lost him and I was six months pregnant. Okay. okay. He had... Honey, that's terrible because his soul, it wasn't going to make it. He just said to me... He was like, I don't know the pregnancy stages, you would, because you're a mum, but like, did he like have a body at that point? Like, he would have had a body, right? He was born alive, but he only <sighs> lasted for about 20 minutes. Okay, because I see a body. It's not like just the miscarriage, I see a body, okay? So this would have been something that he had the breath, but then it was very temporary. I keep seeing him put in almost like an incubator thing. It's almost like I see like a, a coffin almost on him. I, I had a formal burial for him. <sighs> That's now, right. what he's actually showing me here uh, is he's actually saying thank you for being there, obviously, because you had him in his arms when he passed. And he's actually saying thank you. But the one thing that he wants to tell you is that he is actually looking after your daughter. And he is taking care of your daughter like he's your daughter's angel. And the beautiful thing is, is you still refer to him as your angel. And he's saying thank you. And you have, I want to talk about a drawing for some reason. Either there is a drawing about an angel or a drawing of him. But I, I feel as though I'm very impressed to give you... A, I, I can't draw, but and so I won't give you a drawing from me. My son can, though. My son can, but... I just keep feeling as though there's a drawing of an angel with angel wings that is going to be given to you or come to you via, and you might even have it now, but via him, but it's going to be a gift from spirit. Your daughter sees. Your Sorry? daughter has a gift. She's a DJ by night. Your daughter has a gift. She's spiritual. She very is very spiritual. Is she into her crystals and she, all Her of name that? is Crystal and she sees spirits. There you go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Oh, come on. It's all about Harry T. How good was Love that? It. How good was that? How good was that? Because she's showing me that's connected with her. So her name is Crystal and she sees spirit. She just said, it's like, you know what's so weird? Your, your son almost like talks about her as he's her. I know that sounds weird, but it's almost like, did he die before she was born? No, she was born first. She was born first. It's almost him. like they're connected. It could be because they're brother, sister, but it's not just like he's watching over her. It's like he's with her. I almost feel like this soul would have been a very old soul that died, like the six month old, because he's almost acting almost as her guide because she's into some crazy things. Okay. And he's almost like enjoying life through her. So the life that he didn't live, he's living through your daughter. I've been told that many times. There you go. That's awesome. 100%. I, I don't 100%. have anything else because I've got someone else. Thank hurt. you so much. You Thank really you. Hated come, this. <coughs> yeah. I just wanted to say I come here every year only for this. And oh. I'm so happy. Oh. oh, God bless you. 
God bless. Oh, that really made a day. I have oh, someone else now. I'm sorry. Okay, she's, I, I, she's I've got, got a murder. Someone. I'm sorry. I just got let's just go someone. straight to the straight to it. I got a murder right now. Um, sorry. <laughs> well, it's actually like a murder and suicide together. So um, I always say this: Has anyone got a murder suicide? And about 14 hands go up. So, but for a quick sake, has anyone got the murder suicide that that they can relate to, or that there was someone killed and then someone passed it? Do you also want to have that as well? Oh my gosh, it's the same lady. All right, let's. Okay, let's go back to you. Do you understand the murder? Scott, do you mind going back to her? <clears throat> okay, isn't that funny how it's yeah, the same lady? It's, it's, that's what I told her, sort of flapping of the arm. It was so weird. All right, do you understand the murder? And do you, want, do you understand the suicide? Not the suicide, okay. but the murder, yes. Do you understand the murder? And this, all I keep getting the fact, was this a boy, the, a male? It was a girl. Okay. It was a lady. It was a lady. Let My mother-in-law. Your oh. mother-in-law. Why do I keep feeling as though there was a male involved or there was a connection to a male involved? Do you, under, do you know anything about the murder? Yes. Okay, well, she perfect. She found at the house. She was murdered in the house. Yeah, she I was just found, thought, but she was murdered by a lady. Okay. Okay. Can I, can I add to I'm that? not sure I'm with that one. Can I add to that? No, I think, Go for it. Okay. I'm seeing the body found. I'm seeing the murder occur in the home. Correct. I'm seeing it be the hand of someone that possibly knew her, actually, to be Spot honest. Spot on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because I keep being shown that this was by the hand of someone she knew. There was an argument that took place prior to this. I'm actually seeing a physical altercation. I've got to be honest. I'm seeing the hands on the neck. You're spot on. Did she die from that? Was it strong? I'm seeing this. Well, my mother-in-law took in a lady from the streets. Yes. And she was a drug addict. Was, was, there was the, uh, drugs involved. Yes. She went nuts. There was the, she put her hands over this woman. And what's really, really terrible about this is your... I know she's your mother-in-law, but she's coming through as like a mum because she, she really was. loved you. She really yes. loved you. Yes. You've been thinking of her recently, actually, because she just said to me, thank you for thinking of me. And she wants you to tell... Is, is it your husband? He's, yes. he's still here. Yes. Because she's saying, tell him I'm okay. Tell him I'm okay. He does worry about her. Because yes. he always she's thinks fine. of her. Correct. She was, was she religious? Or was she, she was very, very religious. Very religious. She just said to me, I've got to pray. She said, I've got to pray. And I said to her, what do you mean? She wants forgiveness. She said she's all about forgiveness. And I said, but look what she did to you. She's saying, I pray. She felt sorry for this girl. Something about the hands were on the neck. And then when this happened, it was too late. So she was already dead. But what she's showing me is she's so at peace. She's quite pretty, actually, because what she very, just said to me, she, she loves colour. She, she loves, loves colour. Yes. She just said, I love the flowers. I she loves flowers. the flowers. And we, we didn't plan to come matching. We really did come like this. She, a true story. She, she's saying that she loves the colour. She's doing this with all her outfits. She used to dress very elegantly. <laughs> That's what she's doing. You do that so well. She's doing it because I'm journaling. I'm just going to tell you, she's, he actually does that himself. You know, <laughs> he does. She's not telling you the truth. I no. am. <laughs> we did sleep in the same bed. Um, but Don't yeah, no, say that. <laughs> that's true. So well, she's we did. doing this and she loves dancing because she's dancing in all her beautiful outfits. She wants you to know that she's okay. She's saying, please pray for the girl. It's almost like pray for... I know that's terrible to say, but that's how she is because she's so religious and she wants you to tell your husband that she's okay and she loves... She's all family. Family, family, family. Did she eat rice? Is it something about yes, rice? We, we she threw England rice Indians. at me. <laughs> she threw rice at me. You know when someone's getting married? No one's getting married, are they? No. <laughs> you can feed rice. Know. She threw rice at me and she's saying... Okay, maybe I can eat Maybe it. she's throwing rice at me. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, could be a little psychic message. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 Put a ring on it. Okay, so <laughs> um, good, right? Clap at that. Clap I've got my that. own ring. It's fine. Clap at that. <laughs> Clap at that. I'd marry her if I went that way. But um, <laughs> but but she's so happy to come through. And you know what she just said? You have come here every year for a message, and now you got two. You got your son, and you got your mother-in-law. Thank you very much. All right, I just have one more. I have to. I have to get this murder going. Right. And I know I linked in with that, but I still have this guy that was murdered and I still feel as though he he was like he was out there was a club but I do feel as though either he was out and there was a murder situation can anyone understand the younger guy that that it wasn't like a murder I'm going out to kill you it was like he was he was either kind of beaten or there was there was a fight do you understand this darling yeah can you relate to this all right Okay, Scott, can we get a microphone over here, Don, and please? Um, and I know that you had a message, but Harry gave you that, so I've got to come back. Um, was this the same guy? 
No, it was someone different. Do you understand he was taken by the fist of someone else? Okay, because all I keep being shown is that he was taken by the fist of someone else. And he's showing me that he did everything to... Uh, do you understand all of this? Yeah, I understand okay. that, I think. And he's, what he's showing me is he tried to get out of this. He yeah. tried to get out of it. But I just keep feeling as though he, he, he was like... It, this guy just lost control. Yeah. Whoever it was just completely lost control. And all he's saying is that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And again, okay. I'm making it quick because obviously everybody yeah. else is trying to get on stage but he just wants you to know that hey it wasn't my fault there was nothing I could do and he's trying to let you know that he's doing okay, okay. alright but he does tell me that he either knew the person that did it or there's a feeling that they had they had their paths had crossed okay, okay. and he's showing yeah. me that there was a big situation about this yeah. and there was a big lack of trust or a big mistrust situation yeah. as well and he's just saying I'm so sorry I'm so sorry but can you let everybody know that he He's okay and yeah. let everyone know that he's doing good but he fought his best he tried to stay but there was nothing that he could do okay all right thank so may you. i love and leave you with that i'm sorry thank you obviously so everybody's much. gone thank you but How thank you, you. Like that? are you good yes thank you that you can honor. see harry t what what numbers your stand okay. so i'm at stand f f for fred 21 and i've got an audience show in melbourne in a few weeks on Thursday, December the 7th. So if you really enjoyed this and you want to come and see me again at the State Library, you can get tickets from F21 and you can see it kind of again. And maybe one day Lisa will be back with me, maybe. Well, maybe. But yeah. I will be back in... I'll be in Brisbane next week oh, um, yes. uh, at Fetch. Royal Pines. But I won't be back but, in December. No, I won't be at your no. thing in December. But maybe next anyway, year. I'll be back next year at some <laughs> point somewhere. Thank you so much. But thank you so God much. Bless and, um, Have a great day. so grateful. Thank you.